Hello everybody, this is Tools Lab. In this video we will learn about utilizing Photoshop to make image embossed, from background naturally. We will use brush through bevel and emboss effect with blur effect. Just below the video, there is link to download image that I used. Okay then. Let's get started. In this video we will use Photoshop CC. Follow my steps slowly. First click file. New. Make the width 1280 and height 720 pixels. Let's open image. Go to file. Open. I'll use our logo image. We have opened image. Press Ctrl A to select all. Go to edit. Click define brush preset. If you click brush, you can see image as turn into brush. Click file we created. Click color picker. Press color name. Create a new layer. Press B to open brush tool. I'll modify brush size to 600. Let's draw images. Right click directly on the layer 1 to open blending options. Click bevel and emboss. Let's modify now. The style is in a bevel. The technique is smooth. And the depth is a 1000% the direction is up. The size is 29 pixels. The angle is a 56 degrees. Altitude is 53 degrees. Pick another gloss contour. The highlight is white. Click shadow color and press color name. Press 057377. Shadow mode is multiply. Then click OK. Now we modified image. Unlock background layer. Open paint bucket tool. Go to white area and click it. Click layer 1. Go to filter. Blur and Gaussian blur. Make sure the radius is 20 pixels. And then click OK. Now we made it. I'll show you another expression. Press M to open rectangular marquee tool. After dragging, press delete to remove image. Go to brush preset. I'll choose this one. And then, let's modify brush size. Because the effect is activated, you can draw your own image by using brush tool. Ok then let's come back to image we made. Double click on layer 1. Let's change degrees and gloss contour. Go to blending mode. Click the vivid light. Now image gets more brighter. Now we have done. So that's all for Tools Lab. Utilize what you learned and make awesome images. Just below the video, there is a reference link to the image that I used. Please keep an eye on more videos to come. Thank you so so much.